Hi, I'm Amy Kroom, and welcome back to Independent Thinking Executive Insights. I am here at Ashley Furniture with Colin Blackman. Hi, Hello. Colin. Nice to see you again, Amy. You as well. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Good. Good to, hear. Good to see you. Well, so now, I, I know we last saw each other in Las Vegas at Market and got yes. to see the wonderful Ashley Furniture I say showroom, but it really is an entire floor. It really is. Yeah, it is a little bit more than a showroom. It is. It is. But I mean, it's only been about two months, but a lot has happened in that last two months. So tell us, how have things been going at Ashley Furniture? What's new? Well, things are going good. You know, I think like a lot of manufacturers and retailers, we're trying to find those customers. Uh, you know, we really do a lot in marketing to help our retailers pull customers in. And obviously, we do our own marketing to kind of, of boost our brand. But uh, we've just been very busy. You know, we've had uh, some very big capital investments that we're working through. We're expanding our distribution. We're expanding our transportation. It's just a pretty exciting time for us. I mean, we believe when, when times get a little tough, you invest and you really focus and you square up against it. And that's what we're doing. That is wonderful to hear because just kind of building on that, times times are tough and, and projected perhaps to get even tougher as we all sure. kind of worry about the potential for a recession or a, a, just a downturn in general. So you mentioned some expansions in terms of distribution and warehousing. What else is going on with Ashley to, to, help, to help retailers kind of plan and prepare for a downturn and help them prepare their customers? Sure. Well, I tell you, we've got a saying in Ashley Furniture, we choose not to participate in a recession. <laughs> So there's a lot of I ways. I that. Isn't that great? <laughs> I, that's a Todd Wanick saying. I did not steal it from you, Todd. But, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it it's really rings true in, in all facets of our business. Like I say, you know, just investing in what we're doing and um, and really focusing on product and, and, you know, with our retailers, really helping them by providing a, a distribution support that supports a GMROI model, which basically means that our retailers don't have to stock our product. And when you think about the carrying costs of, of a retailer in tough times, the effect that yeah. has on cash flow, that's a big deal. It is. And you know, we can, you know, customer comes in, they buy something, you don't have it in stock, you can get it in three or four days. It's, I mean, that really is the way the machine is supposed to work. That so, really is, yeah. yeah. Because you're not you're not even talking about just the inventory, but the warehouse space and the insurance and everything Absolutely. else that goes the into staffing, housing. The staffing's yeah. huge. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. So being able to negate all those costs is a, is a wonderful it's option. Big. Yeah. It's big. So what are you all doing on the supply chain side to make sure that, that you have the product available? Being being a global company that Ashley Furniture is, how do you kind of weather those supply chain issues? Wow, you know, that's a great question. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. We have 7,000 vendors that we do business with. Oh 7,000. And you think about that. I mean, you think about all the little screws and this and that and all these things that go into building furniture. Uh, you know, that, that number of vendors really climbs. So each one of those vendors over the last two or three years has had their own supply chain issues. Yeah. So in order to negate that, you know, I think we've, we've narrowed down our vendor relationships, um, really got more important to some vendors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where you're buying more from them and you become more important to them uh, and, and, and you get better service from them. Yeah. And they're all kind of coming out of their recessionary effects. So uh, it's a good time for us. Um, and it really allows us to put more value into the product. And we've had several price decreases over the last six months, mm -hmm. which has been really great for us. I mean, the, the most of our line has seen dramatic price decreases. Wow. Yeah, so it's been, uh, you know, so that relationship and, and working with those vendors is able to, has enabled us to kind of back down a little bit and get more velocity and help retailers advertise a little more. It's just, you know, it's that, it's that effect, you know, yeah. just, yeah. And that also supports kind of what we've been talking about here in Dallas. We are at prime time and we've been talking about customer obsession and what retailers can do to surprise and delight customers and really put customers at the forefront of their experience. So what else is Ashley doing to really surprise and delight retailers who are their primary customers and help them as they surprise and delight their wow, end of customers? Know, we do that in so many ways. You know, we don't do it just in what we do on the sales side, what I do. We do it in manufacturing. We do it in transportation. As an example, in transportation, we bought Wilson Logistics, which is up in the, the northwest part of the country. Okay. And they've got 1,500 tractors. I don't know how many trailers they've got. It's a huge operation up there. And we bought that to support uh, our dealer base up there so we can get product to them quickly. Wow. And, it, and it takes a lot of pressure off the rest of our network. Yeah. Um, you know, we do, uh, we do other things like right now, if you look through the showroom, you see these groups here. We call it EVC or Extreme Value Collection. There's a sign right there. Yeah. 
So what we've done with Extreme Value is really focus on our stock situation there. We want to be in stock on those products all the time. And it's not just the sofa love seat. It's the sofa love seat. It's the rugs. It's the lamps. It's the whole package. Yeah. And, and you know, when you display it like that in a store, customers tend to buy it more often. Right, because they can really envision they themselves. They can envision it, exactly. Yeah. So we've invested heavily in EVC, and that's been a great success with our customer base. That, so That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, because otherwise you're walking around and you're picking out pieces. And for people like me, I'm a word person. I don't focus on visuals. So oh, I, I, I have a really hard time trying to pair things together. It's so. terrible. My, my house looks like a dorm room. <laughs> I've got a Lamborghini poster on the wall. I need help. And that's what we're trying to do. I so. love that. That's a really easy way. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so as we look at this year and kind of compare to last year and the previous years, what changes can we expect from a promotional standpoint? So you've got the EBC collections, but if we're talking about promotions or incentives, what else can retailers expect to see from Ashley? Wow, well, we just uh, we just launched a new promotion. It's actually a three-part promotion. We launched it uh, today, as a oh. matter of fact. So it, <laughs> it, timing. It, it's very, uh, it involves a lot. It involves placements. It involves um rebates over time it involves marketing uh you know they uh, you know our, our retailers really need to speak with our our marketing specialists but it's a terrific promotion three-part promotion started today uh and they'll be presented with it so okay. pretty dynamite stuff there and on top of that just from a product standpoint you know we're re-engineering our product every market and we can do that because we're seeing like i said these supply chain costs coming down these vendor costs coming down and we can engineer more value into our products so we can give them a better product at a lower price yeah so we're looking at some parts of our uh of our uh, the, the the lower price points of our line and saying what can we do you know we we really grew out of that with some of our products and the price increases we've mm -hmm. taken over the last couple of years. So we're kind of undercutting those now with with more value and, and generating more velocity and allowing retailers to really promote and, and get after it with some better price products. That's wonderful. It, it's great to have that flexibility. But I know you also have some some luxury lines and some luxury products. Yeah, we do. So we hear about you know disposable income coming down, savings decreasing. Are you still seeing demand in the luxury area? We really are. We've, we've basically renovated in, in stationary and motion uh, our leather goods. Ah. So we've got tremendous leather offerings. You know, for us, I mean, for leather, they're really great values, but to some consumers, especially what you consider the prototypical Ashley consumer, you might say they're a little bit higher price, um, but uh, but they're terrific values, and and we've really focused on that. And and to be honest with you, you know, that area, you know, that that income level uh, that hasn't been uh, that they're they're really kind of inflation proof. Yeah. So we've not seen. You know, we've not seen a lot of drop in our ticket. We've seen a drop in our in what we call dollars per piece because we lowered our prices overall. Right. So that's really where we've seen our drop in dollars per piece. Other than that, other 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 than that, our leather, our new leather mm -hmm. has been bolstering our overall mix. So, you know, you could say that we've not lost ground in the in the yeah. higher end products for us. Yeah. So. And luxury doesn't always, I mean, it typically does carry a higher price tag, right. but also there is something to be said for everyday luxury or luxury absolutely. that is definitely affordable and within a within a reasonable price point as a well. Absolutely. So, you know, you talk about some of our promotional goods and we're using better covers. You know, we're using um, just, you know, just some things to really enhance the luxury feel, the yeah. luxury look of it, you know, because we can get better pricing on it. So yeah. you've got promotional product that doesn't look like junk. Yeah. You know, something that they can be proud of, that they can show their friends and, and so on and so forth. And that's huge. You yeah. know, that's really, really Really important. finding that delicate balance. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. So as we kind of look at e-commerce, that, that's kind of one of the other things that really ticked up during the pandemic mm -hmm. and online sales. So how is Ashley supporting retailers in an online environment? Wow, we got a very strong marketing department. Uh, Erica Sparrow is our yeah. VP of who, who you know. Yeah. And, uh, and we, we've, got a, we've got an incredible uh, opportunity with a lot of different vendors that, that we deal with and that we have exposed our marketing specialists to. And they go out and they expose our retailers to it. It's a huge opportunity for our retailers because we've vetted them. We know they're really, really good at what they do. Yeah. And, uh, and and that's been a great thing for our retailer base because they have access to those to those vendors and it's everything soup to nuts. It's yeah. whatever you can imagine you need from a marketing standpoint. So it's great. That's yeah. fantastic to have yeah. all that available. So as we kind of start to wrap up here, what is it that retailers and especially members of Nationwide can do to better engage and partner with Ashley Furniture in the coming year? Wow, you know, I, I think I keep saying wow. What do you keep saying? <laughs> Um, I'm glad that I'm surprising uh, you're and me. you. <laughs> you're killing me with the questions. Um, 
you know, I, it really more is about us engaging them. You know, it's we're not hard to find, all right? I mean, we will overwhelm you with marketing specialists uh, if you're a retailer. So, I, you know, I think it's just, um, you know, I think retailers really need to kind of look at their product assortment and understand where Ashley could really do uh, a good job for them. And I kind of go back to that GMROI statement yeah. because if they're paying attention to their, you know, their financial, uh, their, their, you know, their kind of financial outlook and where they want to be, that GMROI piece is such a huge savings to them. And we can explain that to them. We can help them. So, um, you know, I, I, I think if somebody is interested in buying from Ashley Furniture, if they don't already buy from Ashley Furniture, uh, then it's just a matter of getting in touch with us and, and we kind of take it from there. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we talk about holding the keys to your marketing department and, and our market, we call them marketing specialists for a reason, right. you know, they're not reps. They are, they are experts at what they do. So they're a huge resource, huge thing for uh, our retailers to take advantage of. So. That is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Colin, for yeah, joining me. Appreciate absolutely. It. Pleasure. Of course. And thank, thank you. Everyone. Thank you for joining us here on Executive Insights. We look forward to seeing you again very soon.